Well, it's Sunday, September 30th, 2024. Uh, tomorrow is officially the first day of October, which gets us that much closer to Halloween. So I got my spooky mug. Um, I was sort of vlogging yesterday, but like nothing really happened. I took, I took the day off because I was tired. Um, I did take care of things, but, um, I mean, I just kind of like chilled around the house. Kevin called me to talk about Riker. Um, I did go grocery shopping, so I finally have groceries in the house, which is nice. Um, yesterday was National Coffee Day, so, uh, that was kind of cool. But just because I like coffee, it really wasn't any cooler than that, so... <clears throat> um, today, so I'm kind of just filling time because I got to look for work, but I do have to meet with, with Kevin today. We got to go through, um, we, um, started looking for another actor because one of our actors for Riker sadly is not available for the dates that we have to work. So we have to re, we have to replace him sadly. So we have to audition another person. And then I got to recap him on all the location scouting that we did this weekend in Vegas. So it, he and I are just going to sit down and sort of um, get a game plan on like what what um, locations we want to consider. Because in the pre-planning phase, we kind of have to like, we have to, um, we're technically in pre-production. So we got to figure all these things out because we got to start locking things in place so we can shoot there. Yeah, so... Just a lot of good stuff we have to do today. And then I also have a physical. Sorry, I'm not, but the side of my nose is itching. God, my allergies are so bad. You know, <clears throat> it was 100 degrees in Vegas. I came home for one day, I guess two days, because I got back to two days now for yesterday. I mean, yesterday was nice. It was probably like 80s. Oh, I had to go down to pick, I finally picked up my nephew's. That's what I did yesterday. I picked up all my nephew's clothes down at um, rehab, but it was nice. It was like 80, 85 degrees. <laughs> Three more days now. Three days now we're supposed to have a heat wave. Thank God damn, we can't escape it. So, um, it's going to be 100 degrees, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do this physical, come back home. We have a call for Riker. And then tomorrow I just got to really buckle down and get stuff done. I got to work on, um, sorry, my allergies. Oh, yeah, so that's what I was saying. My allergies are bad because it's hot, it's cold, it's hot and cold. This time of year just sucks. But I work on Nightmare Nook today as well. So I just have, I'm just keeping busy. But hopefully soon something will pop off. And then I'll even have way more things to talk about on the vlog. How exciting will that be? Okay, it's time to head over to Kevin's house. Because we got to go through locations so we can decide where we want to shoot and lock in things. Got to look for a house still. And we got to go through actors to replace one of the characters and then we got to reach out to the actors and get auditions set up so there's just things we got to do um that have my physical also i might be i might book a gig there's a script supervisor who's sick and needs coverage and i told her i was available so i will hear back later this afternoon to see if i work which i really hope i do because i could use the money so she knows um and it looks like it's gonna be looks like it might be a thing that works so um, all right, Kevy. Well, hang on. I'm on my way. Okay. I'm showing up to Kevin's house, but I realized my hair is looking more blonde now. I, do, I just washed it. But like, and I noticed that like the blue is starting to come out. So I'm starting having more blonde hair now, but it's like really, really, really light blue. Kind of looks like this fence. Doesn't it? I kind of met this fence. How funny. Anyways, I'm here at Kevin's house. I got to be productive now. I'm at Kevy's house. Kevy's making coffee for us because we got to work diligently. Thank you for the coffee, Kevin. He's excited. He's playing jazzy music. It's very romantic. What kind of coffee? Is it just regular? Is it flavored? It's uh, Pete's. Pete's coffee. Pete's coffee? Yeah. Oh, man. I might not have enough. Yeah. You don't have enough? Oh, that's all right. You might just be very... Uh, you so told me I would have brought some. I have tons of coffee at home. Yeah. All right. We got to go through... All of these actors right now. All these actors on my, I have a list of actors. 
that's my friend. So yeah. So once he's done making coffee, there's about four people here. I think we should reach out to four or five. Oh, I thought I forgot two more at the bottom. All right. Once you make your coffee. Okay. So we were hella productive. We uh we sent audition audition sides out to actors. Kevy, I have a zit. I must be stressed out. So we sent sides out to actors. We got six people that we think would be perfect. We sent it to them. They have till this Friday at 5 p.m. to, to put in their audition. And I'm really excited because I can't wait. I actually like auditions. I think it's fun. I like seeing like characters come to life, so that's really cool. And we also locked down a few locations. So, Kevy, we had a really productive day. Yes, we did. Good stuff. I'm really excited. Now I got to go. I got to go to my doctor's appointment. I got to get physical. And then we have another appointment call tonight. So we have, we have a call tonight at 7. And then we have to meet with the fight. Then we might have a Zoom call with everybody maybe on Wednesday to kind of debrief everybody. And then we have choreography. We're meeting with the choreographer on Friday. You know what that means, Kevin? We're officially in pre-production. Sure. We got to meet with our director of photography as well and finalize some stuff. I started getting the look. I didn't get my hair done. I didn't have time because I have to go. So okay. we're going to do it later. But you know what's so funny, Kevy, about my hair color? When I was walking up along the fence here, my hair is the same color as that fence outside. I was like, I could, I could just hide it. You wouldn't see me. He's got the calendar out. And he's doing stuff. He's busy. So we're shooting 14th to 17th. We're shooting the 14th to the 17th. All right. I got to head out to my doctor's appointment. I don't like, because I don't like being sick. I'm not sick. I'm just getting a physical. I just left Kefi's house, and I was on the phone with our producer, our line producer, Colette, and now I'm on my way to the doctor's office to get my physical. I hate doing this, but it's very important. Healthcare, preventative care is healthcare. It's very important. So, and I also want to talk a little bit about my depression. I'm here. I'm here. My physical is done. Um, I have a hernia in my stomach, I guess, where I had my surgery. Then... The doctor was like, you can't lift heavy things. And I was like, but I go to the gym. She's like, but you can't lift heavy things. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that in case it gets worse. I'm definitely going to do cardio. So I'll focus on cardio first and then keep an eye on the hernia. But I got to be careful lifting heavy things, apparently. Also, um, we talked about my depression after my mom died and all these things. So she's going to give me medicine to help me sleep and see if that makes a difference. She also said my depression and anxiety could be a cause for part of my stomach hurting so much. So that's good to know. And then, what else? Um, I'm about to get my flu and COVID shot. But I always do those because of my condition, my hemochromatosis. They tell me that I am, I'm considered, I have a, I have a condition that is um, autoimmune. So I have to do it. Um, it's for the best anyways. I've had a couple of friends that have had COVID recently that I've been around, so I wanna be I wanna be safe, but you guys growing older sucks. But you know I'm grateful to be alive. And I have an amazing doctor. I really do love my doctor. She's great. Um I've had her for years and so she knows everything about me. Also, I'm in the room that faces the sun and it's so effing hot in here so i hope to hurry up so i can get back out okay i'm officially done i got my flu shot i got a covid shot i gotta get a bunch of blood work done which i have to get blood work done anyways because i have to do it a week before my treatment my treatments um my treatment is not this friday but next friday so i have to get so i have to get a ton a ton of blood work this weekend this week which is fine um my doctor's just like, you're overweight. I'm really not that big, but I'm just overweight for me and I gain it in the stomach, which is not good for me. Also, I have to stop drinking. Like I have to really stop drinking. So this is something I'm gonna have to figure out. I have to stop drinking. All right, um, I'm gonna go home, I'm exhausted. Uh, too much to do, stuff to do, but you know, I uh, could be worse. I'm actually doing okay. My doctor's not too unhappy with me, so I'm I'm, oh, well, I'm okay with that. So, but yeah, I mean, you guys, I really have to stop drinking. So I came home and made some dinner, and then um, 
I had a quick phone call for Riker. Um, and then my friend called because he's doing a project and he wants help producing it. So we're going to knock on wood. We get that one. But my COVID shot is really affecting me and I'm getting so tired. Um, co so the shot always makes me like exhaustingly tired. Uh, I didn't think it was going to work tonight. I thought it was going to affect me tomorrow. But I can barely keep my eyes open. I feel drunk even though I'm not drunk. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I'm just going to relax. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Um, but at least I'm home tomorrow. I got to take my... I got to take my small tablet and my watch in because I got to fix them. But I mean, I don't have anything to do tomorrow, so... Um, yeah. Good lord. I mean, I don't want to... I mean, my friend, like I said, my friend got it twice. Uh, I had a friend that got the flu really bad, so I got both shots because I was already there. But my arm is sore. Oh my god, I'm fucking tired. All right. Um, I had a very productive day today, so I feel really good about that. So I deserve this sleep. Uh, happy Monday, everybody.